time and she's become a dear and wonderful friend uh, to me and I love being with her. I do want to mention that Miss Anna, she's right there, is going to rejoin me. We have coming up tonight because I did the math. I'm such a cool little nerd. We have, I have 11 brand new kits. The majority will be Anna's from 7 to 9 p.m. East Coast time later tonight. So, Anna, I know you guys have knocked yourself out for this day. <laughs> and I can't thank you enough because there's some really cool things coming up tonight as well. But also we have three brand new ones right now. And we have this one, but a little tip. Because, I, Anna, I know you previewed this one and everybody was so excited about your China cabinet collection. We do have possibly between 7 and 9 a little more things to go with this first piece that you're seeing here. Just a little heads up. Up. But these are these adorable little miniature stickers, Anna. I love these. This is our 120 China cabinet floral stickers. And they're three-dimensional stickers, but they're about half the size of our normal stickers. Now, these did come in our original China cabinet kit, finishing school kit, in January. And so many people said, could you please sh put these together just in one set? 120 stickers is a great deal of stickers. And when you look at these, we're talking about gorgeous rose bouquets in mirror images so you're getting at least two of everything but there are 30 different designs inside the box and they are garlands and beautiful roses and lovely little blue stickers when you think about having that many stickers uh, you can basically use as many as you want on each of your cards. Um, I love these because they have such a beautiful um, old world effect on my, my projects. And let me just show you um, quickly how easy it is to, if you have um, one of our China cabinet cards and you have, maybe you have some pieces left over. Uh, what's so fun is to take those, all those sentiments and all those pieces, but then go back with the gorgeous flowers and tuck them in and around the the beautiful pieces that came in that set now if you don't have this you this is what's going to happen is that you're going to end up using these flowers on everything from place cards to um, anything that you've got in your craft room that needs a little touch of of, of an old world victorian type style where just that we can't sell enough of these blue flowers, Suzanne. I think lots of people want um, want the pink ones, but the blue ones are the in highest demand. Look at that, Annabelle, our 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 designer Annabelle. She did that beautiful card. That's beautiful. And then when you're looking at these for the first time, you're thinking, okay, now what am I going to add these to? What am I going to? Um, how am I going to dress up what I'm doing? This is the sticker set that is the one that you know for me is the little black dress. It's the thing that goes with everything in your craft room. And we'll just add a little more blue stickers to um, to this. Look at that. You know what Maybe I like about this, Anna, my... is that, that it gives your traditional look a kind of a completely different look. You know, usually your stickers are so large and they're beautiful and they're gorgeous, but I like that these are a little more petite, a little more demure. Right, they take up. They usually take up a great deal of real estate, but here we are only talking about you know half the size. Diminutive is is a good word for it, but just look. It doesn't have to mean that the project is diminutive. But we, look at this. I, oh, Annabelle did this as well, which wow. I think is so pretty. All right, so it's an easel card mm. that she made this with that china cabinet paper crafting kit that's coming up that you were talking about. It's a little drawer, oh, right? So everything about that's that. Great. But see, if it weren't for all those pretty little flowers, you know, you wouldn't have, you know, that's the decoration. That's the thing that makes it so special and so beautiful. So each one of these is a reproduction of a, an original gouache on paper painting from the 1800s, which is, you know, part of my own personal collection of gorgeous museum quality things. And what, what we do is that we turn them into new things that you'll use over and over again on your paper crafts. And so while they may not be, like, like there's just a lot of 
drawing, a lot of design work goes into each one of these. And then to have 120 in one box, I think that's really exciting. And just look, um, Suzanne, there's another little preview Gosh, of something coming up later tonight. That yes, the fancy wink, 3D wink. frames. Yes, if you yes. guys love this look, you've got to tune in between 7 and 9 p.m. East Coast time because we're going to continue this later on tonight. Uh, you saw on the screen there, 500 now ordered. How many sets do I have left, Rick? Okay, guys, I have less than a 1,000 left in this. And again, this is just a smattering. If you see the whole set, it's actually really substantial. Um, there's a ton of these. Look, I mean, look, that's fun. There's a whole lot of these to work with. And again, what's really neat is, Anna, you stuck with your main color palette. So if you guys have left, I mean, I've got three or four of our card kits. Uh, these are gonna work back to your other collections as well, correct? They do. This is such a, you know, beautiful thing to um, go through. You know, I've been in this business for so long, um, 20, 27 years now, and the palette has remained the same. So when you look at things that were created this year or 20 years ago, they're all going to go together so seamlessly because of that, that singular vision and that famous color palette. It's just, uh, you see how these just illuminate your message they provide a lot of beautiful organic movement to your card faces and this is the thing that people you know we listen uh, Suzanne to our customers just uh, just like they were speaking the most important things which they really are and they're saying okay Anna please make me 120 of those little china cabinet stickers and boy did I you know I, I, I did it the very first day that somebody asked which was probably January the 20th of this <laughs> year and you know it takes a long time to get stuff done but when you look at having just this adorable little folio I saw I saw you open yours that was good so you open it up and on the inside like I said, there are 30 different designs. You're getting four each of the 30, and they're all dimensional stickers. So if you if you ever wanted to know, well, how do you know it's a sticker, right? The, there's the white on the back versus, say, ivory. And you see the difference. So the, this is ivory. That's cardstock. So if it's white on the back, if you just take your little finger and flip the paper, you don't have to pick it with your fingernail. Just flip the paper back. You remove the sticker backing, and now, you know, this can go and adorn just about any project that you're working on. And you guys, if you've seen stickers out there and you're like, oh, it's stickers. No, no, no. She does all cardstock stickers. They're like, they're heavy duty. Because, um, you know, I think a lot of us, when we hear the word stickers, we think of those little flimsy sticker sheets. And you get that one little layer and they rip. They always tear while you're trying to rip them off that little sticker sheet. These are actually made out of cardstock and she puts a sticker back on them. And there you can see they're dimensional. And so they really do have a lot of movement and layer and they add texture to your project. And also, if you picked up the shutter cards that we just did, the, I think those would be great to use on those cards because they are smaller, you know, because the, the way you have yes. to fit the design in, you could decorate those cards, the interior of that card using these really well. So I would definitely pick these up if you got that shutter card collection. And again, it's always so much fun to open one of our kits because you just get so much stuff in every one of them. And <laughs> trust me, it'll take you a while to use all these flowers. I promise you that. Well, yeah, especially if you if you use them sparingly, like most people do. But I think that what's so neat about this is that you can you can multiply these, you can you can create a wreath with them. You because there's a mirror image, that you can create just an entire wreath on the card. Oh, that's beautiful. And if you see all those circles, guess what? I got a kit coming up brand new to do a lot of that. I want to show you and give you an update on the last kit in our hour. Uh, Rick, how many have we sold? Okay, we haven't gotten to it yet, but you guys want to show it live? I don't know if we can swing it.